Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here. So, Slava Ukraini, and let us finish this campaign. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am pretty much done with this campaign. Um, I just want to kind of get it over with at this point, just because uh, the lag is, isn't great. If it was a little bit less laggy, I would probably enjoy this more. But regardless, as you can tell, or you might not know, but as you can hopefully tell, I have begun just an offensive. Like, it's 1950 already. Um, we have taken quite a few casualties. 633,000. But the Germans have lost quite a few, in which we've personally gotten rid of 5.6 million Germans alone. So, um, yeah, the Reichspack so far has lost 17 million soldiers against our almost a million. So that's been pretty crazy. Uh, I will let you know that I had to use console commands, because I saw that within this list for the Reichspact, if I wanted to really capitulate Germany, I would have to take out Brazil, as well as Australasia, and I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to navally invade Brazil, as well as Australasia, so I figured, you know what, I just let Canada annex Brazil and Argentina, because that's what they owned, but um, I also took, let Japan annex Australasia, because I don't want to navally invade them, so I just gave it to those countries and let them do whatever they wanted to, so Australasia is here, Japanese puppet, whatever, and then Canada, well, they annex Brazil and they pooped out like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different countries. So that's not really cool. Regardless, we've been doing pretty well. Germany has been like crazy attacking me. So I just kind of figured this would be the last campaign, this last video in this campaign. So right now, mostly using just infantry. But here's a little tip if you do not know. If you really want to get, let's see, let's look at Pablo Skoropatsky. If you really want to get the artillery expert as well as artillery specialist, what you need to do, or at least what I did, was use 40 combat width divisions that use 11 infantry battalions and 6 artillery battalions. Because if you have 6 artillery battalions, that's enough to earn some more XP towards artillery specialist, so then you'll get artillery expert, which has proven to be very, very good. Using that type of division, if you have enough, of course, material, you can... Um, just break those enemy divisions, which is great, 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 great. So as you can tell, I have played this ahead of time, and that's why Germans are... The Reichspack, really, is starting to fall apart, which is... Good. And also, I've been doing a killing here in this part of the Mediterranean. I have set my ships to only operate in the Eastern Mediterranean. Right now... Oh, we finally made a modern Dreadnought hole. It took us until 1950 to make a relatively okay-ish Dreadnought hole. So... If this is the design. It's not great by any means, but it's pretty fast for what it is with a ton of attack. So, finally I can put something like this onto this fleet, which is made up of nothing but cruisers. And since that is done, we can go ahead and make a new modern dreadnought hull, even though we will never see this. Um, still crappy anti-air. Still crappy catapults. Um, what is this? Heavy batteries? No, we want the super heavy. Oh! Super Heavy Battery 1, but Super Heavy Battery 4 sounds like fun. These look like Super Heavy Batteries. That'll slow us down just a little bit. Don't want to do that. I know I'm just kind of wasting time doing this, but I love doing this stuff. I love seeing these Mega Cannons on these bad boys. Um, get some more Super Heavy Batteries. I'm just imagining what this could be. Extremely good radar. Level 5 engines. Secondary Batteries. And Super Heavy Armor Scheme. Wait, there's Super Heavy Armor 4, which we already have, which is great. Go ahead and make one of those, even though you'll never actually really make it go to the Crimea. Do that. Do that. We'll have one in 1953, but we'll, we will obviously not get there. Oh, Brazil. Or what was Brazil? But yeah, I've been killing a lot of ships. Let's see, how many ships have I killed? I don't even know. So I've got 7 Dreadnoughts, 36 Cruisers, 7 Destroyers. That's not a lot of Destroyers. But ships lost. I've lost 8 and I've killed 786. A lot of them obviously are convoys, but I have killed a few capital ships. Not many though. Not very many. A lot of destroyers have been sunk. Tons and tons of destroyers and I loved it. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, I put a lot of naval bombers in, in this part of the sea. So, um, The front... Ah, there goes Poland. Thank God. I mean, I've been doing this for a while and I've kind of been thinking about the next campaign I'm going to play through, and I've pretty much already settled on who I'm going to play as. While Kaiserreich was fun, and I love, love, love Kaiserreich, I just don't like late game lag that much, as you can tell. 
And so, because of that, I am choosing a different mod. I'm going to go back to one of my uh, mods, or one of the mods, that I really, really, really enjoy. That I'm going to play a country I have not played as on this channel before. I've played this this uh, country I'm thinking of currently. I've played it before, a few times, not many, but a few. And But I've never played it on the channel. And... I think it'll be a fun thing to do. Um, concerning which mod it is, well, you'll see tomorrow. But just be ready to sing the blues. We'll put it like that. It's a major power. Haven't played it as before on the channel, and should be kind of fun. Even though I haven't played them after a recent update, so we'll see what happens. Casualties after we encircled some people. Ooh, that's not looking good, Germany. I should show you some of Germany's stats. They're out of manpower. I guarantee you that. Okay, I can't guarantee you that. They have a little bit of manpower. They are on scraping the barrel. They have a good mixture of divisions. Not a lot of... Well, they have a lot of ships. But I've definitely sunk quite a few. They definitely have air superiority over me in a few locations. This is actually doing a lot better than before. Uh, I did get rid of my fighters, though. Um, mostly just because, well... I, I switched my fighter production to jet fighter production. So... Where are those jet fighters? Jet tactical bombers. I have some of those. I guess I'm out of jet fighters. Um, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good, man. That's not good. Guys, can I have some more jet fighters? I need some more, please. Thank you. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Very nice. We're doing very well. Chechia is not doing well at all. But yeah, I love using these 11 infantry battalion, 6 artillery battalion... Uh, divisions. They're, they're a lot of fun. They have just enough breakthrough to actually do a pretty good job. Better than your standard 14-4 combat with division. Just a little bit more breakthrough that, and a little more soft stack that really makes them really worth it, but they really, honestly, do not have a ton of organization. Like, their organization can just melt away if you're not careful enough. So, I do caution you if you ever want to try out that type of division. It, it has good initial power, but it doesn't have good enough sustain. So, um... Ah, there goes White Ruthenia. Also, I have had people tell me that I should annex both Poland as well as White Ruthenia because that would create a great Slavic kingdom under the kingdom of the Ukraine. So that sounds like fun. I'll probably do that. Alright, go ahead and take those guys. Okay, they're dead. Awesome. Uh, let the tanks... I put the tanks in the north. Actually, the tanks in this playthrough, even though they're they're really, really good, I mean, sure, they're still using motorized stuff. They haven't been really good at all, really. I mean, yeah, the breakthrough's great and all, but for some reason, they just weren't up to snuff in this campaign. I'm out of tanks, obviously. I used them, I thought, fairly appropriately, but I guess I just needed more of an Air Force, because for most of this, I mean, this is actually extremely good compared to what it was earlier. My Air Force was just b bombing, just getting bombed. Well, not very good, I should say. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, in this campaign, it just, the Air Force just wasn't really great. So, who do we have to take out? We've got to capitulate the Germans, obviously. The French Kingdom, which will be easy once the Germans capitulate, and that's pretty much it. And that's why I let Japan annex Australasia, and then I had Canada annex Brazil, because I'm not going to fight in Brazil. No, man, no, 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 no. Casualty so far. Also, uh, my manpower is going up. I had to raise conscription levels. I am on all adult serve, so, yes, we have lost... A very huge, a massive number of manpower of men for in this campaign. Almost like I would say maybe even a generation of men. But honestly, it's probably worth it, seeing as the Ukraine or Ukraine is becoming a or the dominant power in Europe. Maybe minus the Entente, but obviously the Entente doesn't have that much sway here in Europe right now. And I'm kind of surprised though. That the Union of Socialist American States has done nothing, really, in this campaign. They still have almost no manpower. Um, yeah, it's just, they have quite a few divisions, so obviously they did have some. But ever since the Civil War, they've done nothing. They've really not done very much at all. Like, they went with business unionism, new American cynicalism, and the revolution continues, but... Oh, they also went with Foster's economic policy instead of Browder's. Yeah, whatever. But it's just... Interesting, they said, free the new world, friendship with Mexico, masters of the West. It's, they didn't do anything, which is honestly kind of surprising, but you know, whatever. Interwar cruiser hole, uh, let's get another modern dreadnought, because those are actually pretty darn tasty. 
Do that, do that. Um, really doesn't matter. I mean, these won't even be made. So. And I kind of trust my army at this point that they can probably smash the Reichs back. I mean, they definitely lost quite a few guys. Ooh, we need a lot of tungsten. Oh, because of jet fighters. We need more of this stuff, so... Yugoslavia, thank you. Ooh, ground attack veteran initiative. Also, I will show you a little bit about Deccan Federation in just a little bit because they're very interesting. And by interesting, you should see how much they have... Or who they allied with. Yeah, we're just building up in that stuff now. Um, I can't really build too much else. I mean, I've already taken a lot of territory. I've already built up my entire area pretty darn well. Uh, tactical bomber, strategic bombing, pretty worthless to us, but whatever. Also, I want to make sure that before I forget, we do something kind of fun here. Yes, and you're probably noticing what I am going to do. We're going to have a great time with the Germans. Um, yeah, at this point, it doesn't look like they can really hold us back, which is, well, for the most part. Two Sicilies is doing okay. Uh, ships? Ships? No? All right. Oh, finally, another Yugoslavian division. Not bad. Actually, are you... This is actual division that they made. So this is just a normal 14-4 four, four combat with division, you know, 14 infantry, infantry battalions for artillery battalions, but they threw in two mountain battalions instead of infantry. Interesting. Um, down here, guys, I think you got enough firepower to probably take this one division out. Probably. And, oh, wait, Venezuela. Okay, Portugal. Good job, I guess. The French Republic is doing okay ever since, I guess, technically, Brazil and Australasia fell. Also, I forgot to tell you about the Deccan Federation because... Actually, it's a princely kingdom that united all that from the south. Took out, obviously, the Bharatiya Commune and then the Dominion of India. And But the scariest thing is, they're in the Japanese faction. Yes, that's right. Look at the co-prosperity sphere. There's a reason why I don't want to fight them. I'd have to fight northern China. I'd fight Japan. I'd have to fight Siberia. And then I'd have to fight India as well as Burma. That is just too much to fight. Especially since we're already losing enough men right now, that as is. And I don't want to spill any more blood. That's for the next generation to take out any other opposing factions. So, so far. Um, obviously, we haven't pushed these guys out of Russia just yet. But we, of course, are working on it. Now, the going right now is pretty slow. But I will let you know, Germany also did have an event... Where, after we took out the Donau Adriboon, they were integrating Austria, so they can get cores, I believe, yeah, on Austrian territory now, which is really cool, which is a lot better than what it was before, but, you know, whatever. Um, losses, we only 39, 40 days up worth of fuel, not bad, pretty good for us, they lost quite a few guys, and that's really worth it, Lithuania has already capitulated. Alright, I need you guys to go a little bit more crazy, because we're not even halfway through this video, but the peace conferences will take up some time to do as well. So really, my goal is just to capitulate Germany. That's the main thing. And most of these guys really shouldn't have any manpower. Yep. United Baltic Duchy. Yep. 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 Two Sicilies has a little bit. Not much. Venice. Not really anything. France has nothing. Got a lot of factories, though. Come on. Oh, we have landed or have met up in the Baltic Sea. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Honestly, even though we might not be winning a lot of these battles, it's still hurting the enemy's ability to wage war, which is what we really, really want. Does anyone have upgrades? No? No? Come on. If we can capitulate the United Baltic Duchy, that would really help us out here. It's just a matter of time before they fall. That's really all it is. Corona. Alright, let's go back down to a little bit lower. We're starting to overextend ourselves just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Oh, Prague is back. Whatever. Yeah, if we can finish off Prussia here, that would be uh, great. Take out Königsberg, please. We need Königsberg. Yeah, we can finish this part off. That'd be awesome. Um, coasts, go ahead and plan on guarding all of these territories up here. 
We're definitely going to need it. Mimel. Riga. Oh, we're going to need a, quite a few more coastal divisions, which is fine. Which is totally fine with me. Go ahead. Poop that division out. Yes, they're not really ready to be pooped out, but whatever. Um, did I get rid of the Turks division that I was making? Hmm. I guess I stopped making Coast Guard divisions. I don't remember canceling this, but okay. Whatever. I could really use more of you guys. Ah, look at good old Prussia. Looking small as ever. Uh, do they have a port? Oh, they might be still connected to Memel. Which actually, you guys should stop attacking. Oh, but they might win, though. Alright, naval bombers come up to here. That's good. We get Petrograd, that would be awesome. Go ahead and keep smashing them through. Keep smashing them through. Oh, it looks like they're actually trying to escape us a little bit. Come on. Oh my goodness, awesome. So it looks like we might need to rearrange things here right now. I'm going to have all you guys stand up here in the north. And we're going to do a line readjustment down here. Y you guys are doing a great job. Going to stop. And you will do this, my friends. Thank you very much. we got some free dockyards. Um, sure, why not? Come to the Crimea. Give me, finally, another cruiser hull. Interwar cruiser at level 3. Crimea as well. Convoy, thank you. Awesome. Oh, an encirclement. But an encirclement we can't really enjoy that m much. So let our guys go ahead and figure themselves out. You guys come over here. And just kind of slice these guys up if you possibly can. Give our guys some time to reorganize themselves. And then we'll have one massive push. Probably into Germany, really. Because Germany just can't hold anymore. I mean, they've lost quite a few guys. 20 million more more dead in the Reichspact. That's just concerning this war as well as the Entente War. I guess the Empire of Japan as well, but... This doesn't include the losses they've suffered in the, against the Third International, which was great. Oh, goodness gracious. No, 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 no. Um, You know what? For this, just go ahead. Just go ham. There's, I don't like this open hole, and I don't want to deal with it. So... Go ahead and do that. You guys are still kind of realigning yourselves, which is okay. That's not a bad thing. However, I will need you to go crazy. But you're definitely not ready to go crazy just yet. Really, if these guys can just push into Berlin. And then some. Ah, oh, it's the lag. The 1950s lag. All right. Southern Germany is coming along very nicely, though. Um, Czechia is, isn't doing bad, isn't doing great. Up here is doing okay-ish. Just need more time. Oh, we're out of political power. Oh, we're losing four political power a day because of occupations. Holy smokerinos. Um, occupied territories. Let's go down to a little bit lower. A little bit lower, please. Oh, that doesn't cost me very much at all. That hurts probably how many factories and resources I get, but that's okay. Even though I really don't need political power right now. Oh, we actually did another encirclement, and I didn't even realize it. Awesome. Any more ships? Oh, Venice, Venetian destroyer, and two more Venetian destroyers. Ah, uh, this is looking very good now. Alright, North Germany is looking great! Ah, an end to German tyranny. Uh, yeah, this was still a giant mess. Uh, I don't think I'll really attack here just yet. Even though these guys look pretty much ready. I have been converting a few divisions to mechanized, but... I don't have enough mechanized to do that again right now. I'd love you to get up here, but obviously you can't just yet. Give me a few more seconds. Uh, let's see if we can see what see what can happen if we push a little bit harder. Because since Germany you really can't reinforce its lines that well, any damage we do is damage that they cannot really recover from. Because Berlin is soon to be a frontline city. 
Oh, wait. I wanted to do something, didn't I? Hmm. We need more air superiority. Can I nuke Le Leipzig? Leipzig? Chemnitz? I don't want to hurt my own divisions. Frankfurt? Let's at least nuke something. There we go. And Nancy. I could nuke Nancy. Hanover? Hmm. There's Hamshofen. Oh. No. Darn. I still don't have enough air superiority. Where did I, where did I nuke? I think it was Frankfurt. Ah, yes. At least we can show Germany dominance. That's all I really wanted. It was just to show dominance. That's all I wanted to do. Um, ah, the atomic bombing of Hess. For the first time, hopefully the last time in history, a nuclear bomb has been detonated in Hess as part of international warfare. The unprecedented destruction stands as a testament to the devastating power of this new weapon, which is feared not only for what it can do to its targets, but what implications it has for the one who deploys it and for humanity itself. Ah, Ukrainian science is best science. The world holds its breath waiting for what will come next. Will this force the German Empire to surrender to avoid further terror, or will it only strengthen their resolve to strike back against those who would resort to such measures? Um, I'm totally okay with nuking more people. Actually, this is not good. Come on, guys. I need you to hurry up in the north. Like, if I could tell you to, like, go faster, I totally would. Oh, there goes Berlin! Uh, reports from Berlin confirm that German city has been captured by advancing Ukrainians, of all people. After long, merciless fighting through the greatest city of the Reichsbach, German forces put up stiff resistance, hoping to delay the Ukrainian forces for as long as possible, but were eventually beaten back. As shocked Berliners looked on, the Ukrainian army paraded down the Brandenburg Gate before listening to a speech by Daniel the First in front of the famous monument. However, what eventually seems to have caught the attention and memory of the world is a picture of a Ukrainian soldier proudly holding the Ukrainian flag from the roof of a heavily damaged Reichstag taken by one of his squad mates. I would love to see that. It's all but over for the German Empire now. Great. Well, Kaiser. 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 Um, yeah, I mean... I don't have anything against him. It's just... He can still be ruler once we're done. Except, except I will, of course, be in charge, really. Uh, any more ships? Yeah, quite a few more ships. A few, a few more ships. Looks like someone is getting navally invaded. Um, our Greek division is holding down here. One, one artillery battalion and eight infantry battalions. That's definitely interesting, my friend. Oh, yeah, we were still attacking up here. See? No problem, right? Even though we weren't winning initially, we're winning now. And that's what really matters. Some sacrifices must be had in order for the good to survive. Cool. You guys are doing a great job. Just push them down here. Mechanized. Mechanized wasn't too bad either. I think I actually did more with the mechanized divisions in this playthrough than I did with tanks, which is kind of surprising to me. Alright. A little bit of lag. Germany might be capitulating right now. They might be. This is quite a bit of lag. Ah, oh, gotta love water. So, not bad. The Ukraine is definitely a challenging playthrough if you have no idea what you're doing, and it depends on what happens in Kaiserreich. It really depends on how you, what happens in Kaiserreich to see how successful you can be. Um, Ireland, Denmark, Finland, Iceland. So, they all have a white piece with the Germans, which means, are they out of the war? They should be out of the war at this point. If you make a white piece, like the British Reconstruction Authority is back, which, which I'm fine with, I don't really care. I don't want those islands anyways. Um, oh, there we go, nice. Thank you very much for playing, Germany. Um, definitely taking the French Kingdom. White Ruthenia, well, like someone said, I'm going to go... No, I'm not going to liberate that. I'm just going to take all those states. Lithuania, yes, please. Cuba. Of all places, Cuba. We're going to have some colonies, guys. Wait, liberate to the United States of Greater Austria? Mm, not feeling that. Kingdom of Poland, thank you. And, of course, the German Empire, which wasn't bad. Coming to France, Russian Empire, United States of Greater Austria. Go ahead and take all that stuff. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing. And now, who am I left at war with? We are still at war with the Finns, the Dutch, or the Balts, and Venice. Okay, well, interesting. Grab you guys. Just get to Helsinki. These guys won't be able to stand up to us. You guys are in the south. Um. Yeah, no. I'm going to use console commands. I deserve the French kingdom. Like. Oops. I did not mean to tag over. Tag back to the Ukraine. This is console commands. I'm just going to annex them. I mean, come on now. I did not white piece you out. So I'm just going to annex you. That's stupid. There you go. Oh, and... Yeah, no. Not after something like this. I don't mind if this is 
that's still at war with me because that makes sense. This, but having them just white piece me out in France? No, are you kidding me? No. Um, yeah. So, um, for the rest of this video, wait, hold on, wait a second. You, no, 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 no. You're part of the Reich's Pact, and if I'm at peace with you, I should have annexed you. Uh, annex FLN. Was that war? With, was that war with these guys? I think I was as well. God dang it. I apologize for this, but annex whole. Alright, who else were we at war with? Let's see. Former Reich's Pact. Oh, but Sweet Fast Africa is here. They're doing okay against Portugal. I'm not going to annex them because I really wasn't at war with them. Yeah, I hope. Welcome to the Ukraine. Really? Called Cuba. So, uh,. Conquest of Germany, today the unthinkable has occurred. Don't clear war me, Japan, please. German Hia forces fighting in Europe has finally collapsed under the weight of invading armies with nowhere left to run. The Kaiser and his cabinet have met with invading leaders and agreed to a complete surrender. German territories across the world have been thrown into immediate disarray. It is clear that the world order, has, which has existed, oh, there goes Hawaii, joined the Entente there, um, has existed since the end, to, end of the first book week, has now come to a fiery end. Poor good old Germany. All right, then. Um, Y'all, just make it up there. Y'all just make it on, like, over here. Come on. But in the meantime, we're going to start liberating some stuff. White Ruthenia. We're going to continue with military occupation. Conquest of Bohemia, Austria, Cuba. Well, we're going to give them Guantanamo as well. I don't think it really makes sense for the Ukraine to own Cuba. Like, directly own it. So, fate of Dutch Guiana. Ah, uh, we can release, release a loyal Suriname. Poland. Well, I like a tasty poll now and then. Peace conference. And a little bit more lag. Okay, so Canada annex Colombia and Venezuela. Interesting. And they're probably getting released. And there goes the Baltic Duchy. Thank you. Everyone please come to Helsinki. And then, of course, Venice for everyone down here. Cool. Oh, not a lot of that. Fate of the Baltic region. Let's see. I'm not going to liberate Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Um, since we're not really playing this anymore, I like having a Baltic confederation. I really, really like that. I could liberate them independently, but that wouldn't be very much fun. Ah, that's a thick United Baltic Duchy. I love it. I love it a lot. those guys. Wait. Hold on. I should be at war with two Sicilies, too. I'm going to annex them as soon as we're done with Venice. Just because that doesn't make any sense, either. Why would I white peace Sicily? Two Sicilies. That doesn't make sense. That really don't make... It don't make sense, man. Looks like Venezuela, Colombia's back. Panama's back, too. Come on. Just take them out. There's not too many guys left. Uh, righty, righty, righty. Get Bologna, please. And Bologna has almost fallen. There you go. Thank you very much, Blaine Venice. And unfortunately, I have to use this once again. Yeah, no. I will not just white piece that out. There's no way I would. Especially with what we did here. Go ahead, guys. Go crazy. You guys go crazy as well. Carry naval bomb. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty much done with this campaign anyways. Uh, ooh, the British Reconstruction Authority is getting a little testy there. Oh, wait. Sweet. Come on. You, no, no. You were part of the Reich's Pact. Oh, West Indies Union. Are you part of anybody? No, they're by themselves. Okay, well, whatever. Our sissy house family not dead. Hmm. All right, well, there goes Morocco. Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to annex these guys, too, just because... I mean, I'm not going to white piece you out, Sweden. There's no way in the world I would white piece you out. You, were, you would have capitulated, and I'm just taking what is rightfully ours. Guys, come on. Get to Vasa. You're taking way too long. Come on. 
Wait, why are you guys stopped? You are on going crazy mode, right? Hmm. Yeah, well, capitulate soon enough. A little bit of lag, peace conference. German East Asia was annexed. Oh, that's a thick Burma. Oh, it's Vietnam! And the Khmer, Khmer Empire. Khmer? Khmer Empire. Now this is a terrifying co-prosperity sphere. All they don't have is just the Republic of China. This would make one for one heck of a Cold War between me, you know, the Kingdom of the Ukraine, versus the Entente, versus the Cairo Pact, maybe, but versus the co-prosperity sphere. That would be terrifying. But I don't have the patience to do that, especially in Kaiserreich. Awesome. Cool. So that should be everyone that we fought the war with. Ah. Almost. Let's be real, I would have taken them out anyways. Alright, cool. So let's do this. Uh, annex of Finland. Uh, I don't care about the Finns, really. Return Yugoslavian lands. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Um, Southern Italy. I'll release him as a puppet. Uh, Lombardy as a puppet. Puppet given to our Sicilian allies. Emilia, give it to our ally. Fate of Tuscany, give it to our ally. This looks disgusting. Um, Bohemia, Austria, Netherlands. Well, Belgium. Sweden? Monarch. I like the monarchy just because we could use that as a potential marriage in the future. So, I mean, even though I did release them, I just use console commands to take them out. It's just... I didn't, I didn't like what happened, you know. Just go ahead and core that. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. Um, concerning the rest of this, let's go with France next. Liberate Bretagne and France. Set of a French pop. Eh, yeah, do that. That's an unhappy face. Ah, much better. Um, let's go to the Netherlands next. Liberate the Netherlands as a whole. I want a thick Netherlands. Dutchland. It's pronounced Dutchland, huh? Hello, Wilhelmina. You're back. You didn't have to fight me. I would have given you power. Um, let's go with Belgium next. And we'll liberate a loyal United Flanders Wallonia. Belgium. Not bad. Oh, wait. Luxembourg is here, too. Who are you under now? <gasps> oh, I love him. Leon de Grel. He's... Ah. Mr. Yell all the time. Um, Bohemia. Let's go with this. Liberate a Czech state. Yes, please. Hello, you're welcome back. Welcome you back. Um, I don't think you got territory there. And then Germany. Let's see what we do with Germany. We could do liberate the Rhineland, North Germany, Bavaria, and Prussia. I don't hate Germany, really. I just wanted to be free and to be dominant here. So we can't form a massive Germany again. We could do a German Union. Revert the German Empire. We can't trust the Germans. Um, well, France is shattered. Italy is kind of shattered. <sighs> German Union. Revive the German Empire. Well, they're under us now. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll shatter them. I usually don't shatter them. But we'll shatter them this time. Just because I haven't done that before. Oh, it's disgusting. I hate it. Uh, Austria? We'll liberate you too. Oh, the United States of Greater Austria is back. Or just Austria. Uh, uh, let's see. I know we've gone over to the time limit. A lot of these territories should be given to Italy. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, there we go. Return to Sicilian land. Yes, please. Denmark. Uh, I would love to have Denmark as a puppet. Or as a monarchy, but whatever. Fate of Venice. Return the lands to our Sicilian allies. Central Italy. Do the same thing. Trento... Let's go with the Austrian allies. And then, Fate of Luxembourg. We'll do that, but... I don't like this. It's not a real country. What are you talking about? There we go. Much, much better. Cool. Daniel did a great job. So, that's... Disgusting. That's really disgusting. Uh, it'd be cool to see if two Sicilies could form Italy now, but obviously they can't. They don't have Rome or Sardinia Piedmont. Austria is led by... Ah, oh, darn. I want a monarchy. I didn't want to get rid of Kaiser Karl, but... Ugh. Oh, disgusting. Uh, we have Southern German Confederation under Rupert, Ruprecht. Uh, let's see. We have Hanover. Or R Renania. Renania under Maximilian Meyer. 
We have State of Hanover under Marco Berman. And of course, we have Prussia led by the National Populists under Barkhorn. Czechia is led by this guy. Denmark is led by... Damn, that beard is... Wow. Prussia still here, yeah, of course. Um, check, 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 check. Renania, that's kind of a terrible thing to say. I'm going to hold on to the Kingdom of the Ukraine's alsace Rain just for now, just because I don't want the French and the Germans to fight each other. What the heck? Do you see this? What is this? Did you just... James Craig? What happened? Uh, regardless, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the campaign. Yeah, I know I'd use quite a few console commands in the end, but... It was a necessary evil because I don't want to get BS out of things. Anyways, um, thoughts on the campaign? The Ukraine was fun. It was fun. It was very challenging. Pretty challenging, at least, in the beginning. Um, I guess that would make sense. But, uh, uh, I could have annexed Ireland, but I don't really care. It's just, it's Ireland. No one cares about Ireland. But, uh, yeah, it was fun playing as Ukraine. It was definitely challenging. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who wants a little bit of a challenge, especially fighting the Russian Empire, regardless of which direction the Russian Empire, Russian Empire may go. Um, but yeah, it was interesting, it was fun. But yeah, I'm planning, I just lost kind of my enthusiasm to play this campaign, especially when it started getting really laggy, and it just turned into a slog fest like the way it normally does, so. Kaiserreich is great, but it just really laggy but anyways hope you enjoy the campaign hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new check out my discord link below um yeah and i will see you all tomorrow and i hope you all have a great great day slava ukraini